well in today's video on ship handling i want to talk about rounding a bend in a narrow channel in the first case rounding a bend in a narrow channel with the current from astern i have used diagrams to convey the point to you as well well in a bend in a narrow channel the stronger current is always closer to the outer bend as shown in the diagram as a result the strong current catches a vessel's stern in such a way that vessel may swing towards the inner bank if the swing cannot be controlled the vessel will run aground in the bank what happens with following tide well with following tide as the current is following the axis of the current shifts from the center of the channel towards the outer bank gradually as an avoiding action the vessel's speed should be reduced keeping reserved power in hand for emergency maneuvering it should be done before arrival at the bend vessel should cross axis of the current and move towards the inner bank little in advance before the strong current catches the stern and pushes it towards the inner bank to cause a grounding with the current from right ahead in such a case the strong current catches the bow of the vessel and restricts the turning of the vessel towards the inner bank as the vessel is unable to turn she may run aground on the outer bank so what action can be taken with the current from right ahead vessel speed should be reduced to keep reserve power in hand for emergency maneuvering moreover the bank should be approached closer to the outer bank so that the bow cushion assists the vessel in turning rudder should be kept hard over and vessel's bow should be pointing always towards the inner bank so that the bow crosses the axis while heading towards the inner bank by keeping reserve power in hand it is possible to maneuver in case vessel seems to be getting out of control any time a corrective hand can be given together with engines on full ahead to control the vessel now we go on to discuss how can rounding a bend happen with the help of a anchor sometimes the bends are so sharp that negotiating normally is difficult in such case the bend should be approached at slow speed that is minimum maneuvering speed both the anchors should be ready to let go in an emergency as the bend is approached helm should be given hard over together with increase in rpm to initiate the turn as the vessel starts swinging anchor towards the inner bank should be allowed to let go underfoot the brake of the anchor should then be tightened this increases the rate of the turn of the vessel and as the vessel is comfortable with the turning rate speed should be reduced and heaving up the anchor commenced as soon as the vessel is aligned in a new direction normal maneuvering can be resumed 